Today, I'm going to show you how you can divide a Google Forms assignment into smaller parts. Have you ever had a Google Forms assignment that you want to divide into smaller parts? That way you can assign to your students a little at a time. Angela here from Custom Classroom making test prep simple. In this video, I will show you specifically how you can assign one task card at, an, at a time. To explain how to divide up a Google Form into separate assignments for students, I will be using a free set of task cards found in my TPT store. The link can be found in the description. To begin, you will need the Google Form you're wishing to divide up. If you're using my task card mini set, you're going to want to click view the file so you can download the PDF. The link to the Google Form version is on page two here in the PDF. So if I click here on the blue button, make a copy, this is going to create an automatic set in my Google Drive. So if I actually go back to my drive and I go to Recents, I'm gonna see here this copy that was just made. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to just reading task cards. Oops, okay, reading task cards. So this is my original set and I'm going to keep that intact. I'm not gonna mess with it. So what I'm gonna do so that I can actually divide up the Google form is I'm gonna make a copy. And so here now I have a copy of the reading task cards. So if I change this, it's not going to mess up my original. I will still have the original set. So if I open up the set, I'm going to see that here's task card one and two, and it's going to include all eight task cards. And let's say I only want to assign one task card a day for maybe a warm up. And so there's kind of a workaround here where I can do that. So now I'm in my copy and I want to send task card one for a warm up to my students. So I'm gonna go in to task card two and I'm gonna click the three dots off to the side and I'm gonna just delete this whole section. And so everything the questions included are in that section. So now I can delete this section as well. And I can keep going, deleting sections until I am through all of these sections. So now here six is gone. And I'm going to delete section seven and then section eight. So now the only thing left is task card number one. Now you could do a similar thing by just deleting questions out if it was something that had like 10 questions within there. So in this case, now I have this one set. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to rename that file I was just working on. And... Um, Actually, I'm going to go back to my drive so it'll be a little bit easier to see here. So I'm going to be in my drive. I'm going to um, be in my recents. And here's this copy that I was just working on. So now I'm going to just rename that reading task card and I'm going to just call it number one because that's only task card one. So if I want to repeat this step, now I'm going to make a copy of the original. So again, I'm having a copy of the original set that has all eight task cards. So when I, um, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this while I'm here, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete everything but task card number two. So I'm gonna open this up and I've already done task card one, so I'm gonna delete it out. And I'm gonna leave two and I'm gonna delete task card three, I'm gonna delete task card four, Delete task card five, I delete number six, I delete number seven, and I'm gonna delete number eight. So now this set only includes task card number two. So when I go back into my recents here, this has this is task card one. I can assign to students for a warm-up. I could the next day assign task card two. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna continue to um, duplicate the original deleting out the parts you don't want. And as long as you remember to keep your original intact, then you'll always be able to go back and have the Google Form as a whole. So this is one way you can kind of work around dividing up an assignment and chunk it into smaller parts for your students. 
To assign the task cards to your students, just visit my TPT store and download the resource for free. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos to help you and your students prepare for state testing.